American Friends to 1985. A huge year for the late, great George Michael. He got to perform at Live Aid, helping raise over £50 million for the Ethiopian famine, alongside all the big names in pop. 85 also saw the release of one of the best films ever made, Back to the Future. And we all got very upset about Coca-Cola's baffling decision to change the recipe and call it New Coke. Unfortunately, no one liked it. So they changed it back pretty sharpish. Mm. I know what you're thinking. You love the hair. But it wasn't just the hair that was big in 1985, the tech was too. This is the Vodafone Transportable VT1. It costs the equivalent of £4,600, weighs a massive 5kg, but was the beast behind the UK's first ever mobile phone call. Yes, just after midnight on the 1st of January 1985, Michael Harrison made the first ever UK mobile call to his dad using a 1G network. It could only manage 30 minutes talk time, so you had to keep your chats relatively brief. But that call symbolised the dawn of our modern mobile era. Microsoft announced the launch of the first consumer version of Windows, Windows 1.1. Windows 1 ran on top of Microsoft's operating system, MS-DOS. MS-DOS was a frustrating command-based operating system. You had to type in instructions and the computer would obey. When Bill Gates combined this system with his Windows 1.1, he created an easy-to-use, point-and-click interface with pretty graphics. No more boring black and white lines. It included a few other bits and bobs too, including Windows' first word processor and an art program called Paint. Gaming was also making big waves because this was the year that Nintendo released its family entertainment system to the West and called it the NES. Bringing Donkey Kong, Wrecking Crew and Super Mario Bros with it. This was eight bits of family gaming time in all its glory. Will you be the one to witness the birth of the incredible Nintendo Entertainment System? Clap on! Think the smart home is a modern concept? Clap on! Think again. This little gadget here is called the Clapper. It debuted in 85 and you simply link it up to your appliance and then, you guessed it, by clapping you can turn it on and off. Alexa, eat your heart out. 1985 was the year that Clive Sinclair invented the Sinclair C5, an electric car before electric cars were a thing. And we even had smart toys before they were a thing. This cuddly-looking thing was the world's first animatronics toy and the best-selling toy of 1985. With blinking eyes and a moving mouth, this 3.0 bear would read stories via the inbuilt cassette player. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? Yeah. 85 was a trailblazing year for gadgets, a year of big firsts that helped shape the tech world we live in today. Be great, Scott! Can't you say I object to you treating 1985 as a history lesson? <laughs> <laughs> it brings back such happy memories. I went to the launch of the Sinclair C5. I nearly went to Live Aid. Nearly. Although I, although I told everyone that I did. <laughs> Otis, did you have one of those bears? I might have done. Yeah, can you and I be friends? You and I can never be friends, Craig. <laughs>